What's up guys, Bronze here. Here to share my personal opinion on two very popular headphones used for music producers in the market right now. These two headphones I'm talking about are the Bayer Dynamic DT990 Pros and the Audio-Technica M50X. So you can do a quick Google search or Amazon search or whatever, you're gonna see how many reviews these have. And the reason I wanted to talk to you about them is because other people might be looking to make a decision to see if these are good enough for them or before they buy it, I'm gonna give you what I think. I'm gonna give you my opinion on how useful they are for music production, specifically EDM. So let's get right into it. So one key difference between the Bayer Dynamics and the Audio Technicas is that the Bayer Dynamics have a wider frequency range. They can reach from five to 35,000 Hertz while the Audio Technicas can only reach from 15 to 28,000 Hertz. Since the Bayer Dynamics are open back headphones, you're gonna actually be able to tell the spatial awareness of each sound. This allows for your ears to actually hear the outside environment, um, or, or like my friend described it, my music producer friend once described it, it's like putting like stereo monitors right by your ear. The Audio Technicas on the other hand are closed back. So closed back headphones, they're gonna have sort of an isolating sound and you're not gonna be able to hear the outside environment. Closed back headphones result in a more concentrated sound straight to your ears. This can be bad if you have too much bass in your song. Another big advantage of the Bayer Dynamics is that they fit much more comfortably. So the Audio Technicas, they actually gave me a headache because they're too tight even if even wearing a silly towel on your head is not going to fix this problem. So the Bayer Dynamics were very comfortable. I really liked the velvet ear pads and also I really liked how it felt. It wasn't too tight to the point where it was giving you a headache. So one of the biggest pros about the Audio Technicas is that it's mobile, collapsible, and it's good for on the go. Basically, it's great for traveling. You can put it in your backpack in a case without getting destroyed and also it isolates noise so that outside factors such as big crowds or loud obnoxious people talking in the background you won't be able to hear them as much. The Bayer Dynamics actually need a sound card to work. Now I've been using the Focusrite 2i2 which supplies enough power to drive the powerful bass of these headphones. Now this means you need to have a sound card if you want to take advantage of its bass but without it, it's not gonna be as powerful, which means Bayer Dynamics aren't suitable for travel. So I hope you like this video. Overall, if I had to choose one, I would choose the Bayer Dynamics because, you know, with my mixing house music, I definitely need to hear the low end, the kick, and I need to hear the subs that are going on. Also with the Bayer Dynamics, you get better spatial awareness of sounds. Uh, I felt that with the Audio Technicas, you're gonna hear sounds a little bit closer to each other. And with the Bayer Dynamics, you're gonna hear sounds everywhere. If I was on the go a lot, I would definitely choose the Audio Technicas just because it's collapsible and you can uh, store in your bag easily. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more helpful music production tips. Until then, keep producing.